Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to put a scrappy quilt binding on this baby quilt that I made. This is a small quilt so it's a great one to demonstrate this technique. To make this binding you'll cut two and a half inch strips out of your fabrics and because it's a scrappy binding you can cut the fabrics don't all have to be the same length they can be different lengths and you just need enough that will get all the way around your quilt and because we're doing mitered corners you'll need extra to get around the whole quilt and we also need some extra at the beginning and the ending so that we can put it together and make it look uh, nice around the outside. I've started to uh, put these together and you can see I have the these are shorter and then there's a longer piece and I've Put them together and I'm going to show you how to add these last two strips onto this strip that I've already made. So I have this strip that I had started with and I'm going to add these last two strips on and I did all the strips the same way. You lay the strip down like this and then you make it, you add your new strip on at a 90 degree angle and then you're going to sew from corner to corner and you can mark it if you like or you can just eye it like I do and so I'm just going to go from this one corner to this corner and then when you open it up it will look like that so now I'm going to add this, the next one on and you just continue until you have all of your pieces in one big long strip. And you want to make sure that every time you add a strip, you add it the same direction and you sew your uh, diagonal in the same direction or you will end up with a weird strip. So there's the last piece that I added on. So your next step is to trim these seams, all the seams, to one quarter inch and press them open. So I'll come back after I'm done. Okay, so I have all the binding created. I cut my seams and I ironed them in one direction and then I ironed the whole binding in half. So now I have the binding ready to be put on the quilt. To put it on the quilt, we're going to start from the back of the quilt And usually you start somewhere along one of the long sides and towards possibly where the bottom of the quilt is. Leave, we're going to leave about an eight inch section and not sew, uh, leave that free. And then start sewing a quarter inch seam to lining the binding up with the side of the quilt. And then in the corners we will miter the corners and I'll show you how to do this at the sewing machine. Okay so here I'm at the sewing machine I, I'm on the wrong the wrong side of my quilt is facing up I have at least about eight inches off the back of my binding that I'm not going to sew down right now and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam along the edge matching the binding to the edge of the quilt. Okay, so when you come to the corner, you want to make a mitered corner. And what we're going to, what my foot here, I'm using a quarter inch foot. And there's these little notches on the foot. There's three different notches. I don't, hopefully you can see them on the side. This notch is a quarter inch from the needle. And this back notch is also a quarter inch from the needle. So we can sew up to the end to where the, the front notch is lined up with the other side you know, of your quilt. Then have your needle down and pivot so 45 degrees and then sew into the corner and off the edge. Next we turn the quilt and I'm going to fold 
back on that 45 degree angle like this and then fold it down so that it's even with the edge of the quilt you see there the fold is even with the edge of the quilt and we have this 45 degree angle over there underneath and then we line this edge of the quilt up with the back notch of the foot and then start sewing here and don't forget to back tie here and then continue sewing around uh, the whole side of this quilt and then continue this with all four corners of your quilt okay so I've gone most of the way around and I have this gap now about eight inches or so and I want to I need to join these two fabrics together to do that I'm going to lay this down over top and because my binding is two and a half inches wide I'm going to measure two and a half inches from the underneath fit, uh, edge down and I want to cut this off, this top binding off at the two and a half inches. So I'm going to put the two pieces of fabric together on the 90 degree angle and I'm going to pin, put a couple pins in here. So I'm going to sew from this corner to down to this corner. So now you can see we have a nice edge there again. So I'm going to now finish sewing the binding. <clears throat> Starting where I left off and sew down to where I started. Okay, so the whole binding is now on the back. The next step is going to be to flip the binding around to the front. So I'm going to turn over my quilt. And you pull the binding around to the front and we're going to sew it down with our sewing machine. So I'm going to use a serpentine stitch um, for a decorative stitch on the top of my binding and it's going to show through on the front and the back. I've changed my thread to match the thread that I used for the top uh, for the quilting on this quilt and I have the bobbin matching also because it will show on both sides. This is the serpentine stitch. You can use any decorative stitch that you'd like. Um, this is the number four stitch on my Bernina and I had to lengthen the stitch so you can see this is what it started with and then I lengthened it until I got to the type of serpentine that I would like. So now we're going to wrap the binding around the seam allowance here and pull it over and then I'm going to sew the serpentine stitch right on the top. Okay, so when you get to the corner, we have to miter the corner so it looks nice. To do that, I'm close to the corner now, and usually what I do is we push into the corner and then fold over the other side, push into the corner to make a little mitered corner. 
so you can see now there's a nice mitered corner and then just continue your serpentine stitch till you get to the corner and now turn and you can continue down the other side. Okay, so I'm getting to the next mitered corner. So I'm going to push the cor corner out, pulling this around. Then I'm going to fold over the, the next side so that it's like that and push into the corner. And then fold down till I like how it looks. And I have a nice mitered corner. Continue sewing to the edge, to the corner. And we can turn it. And continue on. And my baby quilt is all complete. It has a nice binding along, along the edge. I hope you enjoyed learning how to put a binding on your quilt. This can be done on any quilt and it's a quick easy way to do the binding which requires no hand sewing. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google+. Visit our website by clicking the i card to find the links to follow us. If you are on Pinterest, pin our projects to your wall. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects. Visit our website needlepointers.com to find lots of other quilting projects and tutorials.